So here are the must-watch videos from the Wingsound.com community. That's right, these videos come from members like you from all over the world who've uploaded their videos to Wingsound.com's user-generated community. Ableton Life blog explains how to sequence a minor scale in Ableton Live. I'll show you what that looks like on the piano roll. So we'll start with our root note, which is the D, and we'll go up one whole step. And our next, it asks for a half step, go up whole step, whole step, whole step, another whole step, and we end on a half step. Lightning Rod shows you how to route drum sounds from the Ultra Beat to separate channels in Logic Studio. So, here's kick, and that's the first one. So it says right here, up here it says out. And if you notice, it gives you all the options for all the different um, ways you can route the material. So we're going to take the kick out of 17. Greg Ondo gives you an overview of the groove agent within Cubase. For each sound, I can come over here and adjust my different voice filters or amplifier settings. So if I wanted to tune my kick drum, make it a very high pitch kick, or we'll drop the tuning on it, we can just do that very easily. Make sure you follow Wing Sound on Twitter and Facebook to stay connected to a stream of new videos as well as cool music production links. Twitter.com slash Wing Sound or search for Wing Sound on Facebook. Guys, thanks so much for watching. We're at the end of the show, but as always, if you learned anything from the show, please make sure to share with your friends. That's right, and we'll be back next week with an all new show. And in the meantime, make sure to catch all the clips that you saw here, plus thousands of videos featuring Pro Tools, Logic, Ableton Reason, and so much more on WingSound.com, the new social video network for audio creators. Thank you.